Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an opportunity slide. You must have seen this uh, image a lot of times when we are talk about the opportunity. Generally, we show this image. So I thought of creating a new uh, tutorial on this. So in this one, you can see there are two tanks. One is a small and there is a big. And there are some fishes in the first tank. And in the bigger, it says opportunity right here and what I'm going to do is when I click the fish jumps to the second tank so when I click the fish jumps out from the first tank so let's see how to create this opportunity slide in PowerPoint add a new slide change the background color right mouse click and say format background and color select any aqua color and go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the perfect oval shape by holding the shift key shape fill make it white and shape outline make it no outline and align center align middle I'm just going to take it a little bit down and I'm going to cut this much part but before that I'm just going to add two more circles press ctrl D and give a different color here somewhat darker color and instead of 2.78 maybe 2.5 and this also align perfectly and add one more and give a different color a gold color this also you align it or we can align later first I'm just going to select the white circle go to insert shapes select the rectangle as I said I'm just going to cut the white circle this much for example let me just make it somewhat transparent so this much area I'm going to cut it remove the outline press ctrl D and we can use this shape for later use so I'm just going to select the white circle and the rectangle under format merge shapes say subtract so you can see that this got cut now I'm going to cut this one or more for that I'm going to use this again maybe I want to keep this much only select this circle and the rectangle merge shape and say subtract and then use the same here I'll make some more transparent so that it is perfectly aligned and I'm going to cut further down um, I will take this and this much only I want to keep select this circle and the rectangle merge shape and subtract so this is the jar then this is the water and this is the the soil or the sand and if you want to give some more effect to the sand go to insert shapes select the the cloud shape I'm just going to zoom it draw the cloud shape something like this and select the sand and the cloud merge shape and say subtract so you got this shape and if you have any tree or small plants you can just place it there and you can add the base at the bottom for that I'm going to select shapes and select this trapezoid draw the trapezoid 
center a line make it no outline and give some dark colors and send this to back and if you want you can give some shadow effect for that insert a oval shape go to effects and gradient fill type select path keep only two path and here I'm going to select black color sorry black and this one I'm going to select the aqua color shape outline make it no outline and transparency make it 100% and send this to back increase the size alright so now I'm going to select all press ctrl G to group it bring the other side this is a small tank and press ctrl D to duplicate and increase the size to a bigger tank and then you can add the board which says opportunity add a shape select the diamond shape draw the diamond shape and give a uh, orange outline make it no outline duplicate it by pressing ctrl D and outline you give black shape fill make it no fill and weight increase the width reduce the size a little bit and then bring it and then add the text what are the text you want to add it here opportunity I just say starts here and bring it the center and then you can add a rod for this select the whole sh or this rectangle make it no outline and give the gradient fill so type I'm going to make it linear transparency make it all 100% and send this to back so you got this also And now it's time to add the fish here. I have copied one PNG fish format from the internet. Reduce the size of the fish. If you want, you can add three, four fishes here. And place the fish here. And then you can give animation where the fish goes to the second tank. For that, go to animations enable the animation pane add animation go to more motion paths and you can select turn 
up right so if you see here the fish goes something like this but we need to just change a little bit a right mouse click I'll say edit point this point I'm just going to delete it so right mouse click and say delete point and this point right mouse click and say smooth point and adjust it properly all right so the fish goes like this and double click the properties smooth start smooth and make it all zero and timing you can make it medium or fast or very fast so it goes like this and i'm going to add one more animation to it which is add animation say grow shrink and this should happen with previous and double click this animation properties and the size increase to 200 percent and press the enter key and say okay and I'm just going to give a little bit delay of 0.25 seconds so if I play it looks something like this if you want you can make it timings instead of medium this also make it faster or you can let's see here all right and if you want you can add one more which is the arc this shape rotate it give outline of this one go to format shape and give a line go down and some dotted lines this also you can uh, give a little bit animation which is a wipe animation and that also should happen with previous so if you see here when I click it comes like this so you do you need to just do a little bit alignment with the animations That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.